Hi, my name is T. Patrick Murray, and this video is to the Libertarian Party leadership, both local, regional, and national, telling you why I'd like you to support me as a candidate for the Libertarian Party in the 167th District in Chester County, Pennsylvania, against a Republican incumbent that's been there for six years in an affluent area that's never had anyone but a Republican represent them, and how, why I'm the right guy, and how I may be able to beat this guy and the reason that you should be even watching the rest of this video, which is the first thing I'll start off with. I'm an award-winning documentary filmmaker. I've made films that got four stars and one film festival has been on national TV, etc., etc. Jack Nicholson's option, my documentary. Um, as a result, um, I'm pretty well qualified to do what I think is very needed for your party. Make the documentary that expresses what your party is. If you allow me to do this and work with me on it, I give you guys final cut for creative control, and we would follow three campaigns, mine, then a medium-sized one, state level, like a rep or a secretary, a senator, a uh, governor or something like that, or, and then the third would do the, the presidential, the federal thing. So we have federal, we have state, and then we have local. Three phases of the party, I'd be one of them. Who am I? Well, I told you, T-Batch should raise my name. I'm a former Democrat who's disillusioned with Obama and the Democratic Party, um, and I became a libertarian about two years ago. Uh, I love the party. I think it's the most misunderstood party. I think that the entire generation of people of my age, 41, 41, me and below, uh, are so primed to be part of this party. I think you guys, you know, we, we all go from being the third party to challenging one of the other parties sincerely if, if the entire youth, or not the entire, but, but, but the lion's share of the youth goes libertarian, which believe me, if marketed correctly, this, 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 this is the party for the young people, trust me. I know them, I'm, I am doing something called TeenagerChannel.com, and I know what they're thinking. So my point's this, it's really worth listening to me and, 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 and at least hearing me out about this film. Now, who am I as a candidate? What's my background? Well, I went to University of Pennsylvania, uh, I have good education, I'm getting my PhD right now too. I'm a creative guy, I'm a award-winning filmmaker and a writer. I've written books that Kurt Vonnegut gets read, actually. Um, uh, also, uh, my father is a guy that grew up poor, went to Wharton because my um, grandfather was a head janitor there and he actually uh, bought an NFL football team. And um, now I'm not saying that I come from money or wealth, but the opposite, I come from hard work and entrepreneurship. And I'm, I'm an entrepreneur as well. I have a big web deal I'm developing um, for web media. Community Channel is one of them. Um, the point is, is that I, uh, right now, want to run for this seat because I believe that it would help the party and I'm also, as an individual, I have ideas. The ideas that I have are the things that I think that will enable me to win and actually beat this incumbent who I think is vulnerable. Because as Noam Chomsky said, Libertarian Party is right of Republican. I don't think that's true. I think the Libertarian Party is so many things. I think the, it's an it's a embodiment of paradoxes and diversity that no other party features. It's not one-dimensional. So in other words, you can't really pigeonhole it like that. But the point is, I think I can get Republicans on board to vote for me. Why? Because there's a 1.5% earned income tax here in this district that people hate. And I know a way to get rid of it. How? I will tell you if you call me or if we have a meeting. It's a great idea, though. So that's the first promise. Number two, the web. I will use the web privately with my own funds and effort to create constituency, representative, in other words, government uh, websites that allow for transparency and interactivity. For example, I would give a video town hall meeting every week and have like a Skype chat with whoever wants to be on there for constituents, for, for my constituency. Uh, the bills I'm voting on, I would post them and have dummy votes so my constituents can vote for them. And I don't have to vote what they vote for, but I am definitely going to consider it and be you know, responsive to it and have chat rooms and forums and things like that. Very, very simple things that I, on my dime, will pay for. So uh, the first thing, again, is to get rid of this tax that everyone hates. And actually, I'm, my idea may bring more money than the tax ever did. Number two, that's a, that's a big election issue in this thing. Number two, I say that nothing negative to this representative, the representative, Dwayne. He's done his thing, he's done great, but he's done his thing for six years. The essence of government, in my opinion, should be something where we're all participating. I have something to participate in, and I have ideas, and, and these, these are what they are. He's had his chance for six years to do his thing, and he's probably done very well. I'm not going to judge him. All I'm saying is he hasn't gotten, tried to get rid of your tax or reduce your tax. I can and will. And number two, he's not offering to innovate the government idea in general and make you as a constituent have more power, more interactivity, and have your voice get heard easier. 
So that's a value added thing. It also makes government more efficient, less bureaucratic, less people, more efficiency. Technology is a good thing when it comes to the libertarian ideal of small government. Finally, I also talk about term limits, saying that, listen, I'll just be in there for two years, the term, if you allow me and implement my ideas, and then, unless you really want me to run again, the point being, I'm not trying to be a cur curve politician here. I want to go in, I want to fix some things, and then let the next member of the community come in. Um, to me, that's, uh, I mean, it's not about term limits per se, it's just about showing them that I just want to do something very specific. I'm not just looking for a new career. And I have a career. I am an entrepreneur and a filmmaker and a writer. I want to run and be part of the government and be part of the process and be part of the system and help it and do my thing and then get out. So, that's the summary of why I think you should support me. I'm going to call Lou, the local representative of the party, but I wanted him and everyone else that may ever read this or see this to just get a sense of who I am. And I'm not special, but I think I have a unique campaign that should be supported by the leadership. And I also think that if you look at my film, thelastgame.com, check out the trailers. If you look at that, you'll see that I have talent and I have ability, and we can make something really pretty powerful. Very, 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 very extraordinary, I believe, this year. This is the year to do it. And then show it to Sundance and get it on iTunes and get it on Netflix. And then the Libertarian Party has a voice. Because right now, I'm not criticizing, but the Libertarian Party is a mystery to many people. And I think that this movie, documentary, would be very important. Just the way the war room was a fascinating insight as to the democratic process and it really made Carve up what he was. But anyway, that's my speech. I'm done. Thank you very much for listening. T. Patrick Murray at gmail.com. T. Patrick Murray at gmail.com. I uh, appreciate the time you took to listen to this. Hope you support me and I hope you call about the film. Oh, and by the way, if black is Republican and white is Democrat or whatever, their duality, the color for the Libertarian Party should be gray. It literally should be the color. And they're the elephant and the donkey, you know, is the imagery. And that, you know, people might think that's bullshit, but I'm sorry, not important. But it, it's symbology, it's branding. So I know you guys, the Statue of Liberty is as an emblem. But if you had to pick an animal, what's the Libertarian Party? I'll tell you what they are they are the eagle, not the bald eagle, the gray eagle. Why? Because libertarianism is gray, it considers all the gray areas. Whereas black and white are the other two parties. The bald eagle is obviously the, 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 the mascot or the image of America. So if we co-opted the gray eagle as our image, that would fit into the, uh, what should we say, the species of political symbolism. They use a donkey, they use an elephant, we use a gray eagle. It's a good looking image. So these are the ideas. I have a lot of ideas about the Libertarian Party at large as a whole, and I think it can really help. So please contact me. 